Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make something like this. We're gonna customize it, we're gonna use the SVG files, and I'm super excited about it. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do, I appreciate all the support that I can get, and let's get started. All right, I'm gonna make me smaller because this was just so that you can kind of see all the different things that you could do. Um, actually, before I make it smaller, um, these are a lot of fun for parties. Um, you can add a sign and just put it on top um, and you know do a happy birthday uh, or customize it with your theme so you can add things like if it was a butterfly theme you can add butterflies here and there and um, maybe a cute little butterfly with a little sign with the number for the happy birthday you know age or whatever it is so all right <laughs> i'm going to show you how to do all of that so give me just one second okay all right so first up is that the files are going to be available on the salty yankees website so you can go on here she's got dolls uh dresses and hairstyles so she's really worked on making it more than just uh where you have to do a custom order but hopefully that there are enough variations that you can get it uh, narrowed down to what you're looking for so okay so this is the salty yankees website let's go straight into design space and let's start working <laughs> okay so i'm going to open it up and i just have it downloaded i have not uploaded the files so what you're going to want to do is i'm just going to go into new project and then we'll um upload the different files so oops didn't go all right here we go so we're in new project and what you want to do is you want to go to upload and of course i'm using design space um you could do this with a silhouette or with any cutting machine that you have uh, these are svg files so they're compatible with all the different you know cutting machines all right, so the first step, I'm going to bring in um, the hair. So look at all these hairstyles. I am loving it so much. Um, over here, it comes in already named. Um, it has hair. I'm okay with how it is here. This will now, these files, these uh, hairstyles, will be available in the Cricut library. So you wanna make sure that you name it something that you can remember to find it again. So obviously hair is a good one. So I'm gonna click upload. And then let's go to upload a few, two more things. We're gonna upload the dolls. And then we're gonna, so there's three dolls. And then we're gonna upload the last one which is the clothing. All right, so stinking cute. Okay, um, and because these are large files right now, so I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna play around with it and I'm gonna show you how to use it, but I'm also gonna remove a few things just so that um, it's not gonna bog us down. All right, so I have the three items highlighted. Um, you're gonna go, and my face is covering it, but you're gonna go to here and add to canvas. Now everything's coming in and there's a lot, right? So for instance, the hair. Um, let's make this all a little bit smaller for now. And I'm going to, un oops, I didn't mean to duplicate it. <laughs> I meant to ungroup it. So let's delete this one. But I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna ungroup it. I'm gonna move this over, I'm gonna ungroup this as well, and then this. Okay, so some things that I wanna show you. You can get rid of this. This is just there so that uh, it's kept together, so you can remove the, the squares behind it. Okay, let's just for now, I'm gonna move all of this over, and I'm just going to click on a few things. Oops, let's ungroup that. And I'm gonna move I'm gonna move the rest of this out of the way. And that way we can concentrate on just one one piece. Okay. So we've got the doll, we've got her dress, and we've got the hair. Now what you wanna do is you wanna put everything kind of in its space, right? if you wanna resize it. 
So all the hairstyles, all the outfits, everything works on all these dolls. It's almost like if you want to think of them as paper dolls and you know how um, with your toy set, I think they're magnetic or sometimes they just have the little cutouts and they fold over. So it's everything can be put on there. Now, there are some very cool things on here. When you're looking at the layers, for instance, her hair, let's just look at her hair. Her hair is still grouped and it's got two, it's got a couple of pieces. It's got, um, the hair is in a couple layers, so let's ungroup it and just look at the hair. So here's the hair. And you can see like this is its own little piece. Uh, this section right here is one piece. So the hair itself is in three pieces, right? We can see that here. So we can ungroup it for, oops, did I just group it together again? Let's ungroup it, yeah, there we go. Okay. Then we've got this layer and we've got the green layer. And so this black layer is that outline so that you can see the different pieces and it's the overall black in the back, right? This green piece though is what is cool about it because when you put this green piece over her face, for instance, right? So it goes like this. You can see that not her whole head isn't needed, right? So I'm gonna move this out. So like her ears are covered, some of her forehead's covered, and you may ask why is that important? Because this is so that we can slice things out. So for instance, if I'm doing the dolls, cause you see the dolls behind me, uh, sometimes I make them really big, right? Sometimes they're almost three feet tall. And so when that happens, we every square inch counts right so if the forehead's not showing why do we need the forehead we don't need to cut that on the paper and we don't need to waste it so what you would do is this so we're gonna ungroup this further and um okay so here's her head right we're gonna put the hair over it so we can see where it goes and then now you can grab these two items and slice. So the green layer is truly for you to slice. So here's her actual real face because when you put this down and you put this over, oops, you gotta move this layer too. So before, when we didn't have this, it was really hard to customize because even as you added things, you needed to make sure your offset still looked good and everything was there so that all the pieces um, actually come through like they're supposed to, right? Um, now it's super easy because you've got that green layer. Everything is fit to size for all the dolls. So how stinking cute is that? So let's, let's look at the dress. So the dress is gonna be the same in the sense that, you know, once the dress covers this, right, let's bring that to the front. So we're gonna go to arrange, bring to the front. You can see that a lot of her body, well, first of all, right now her body is one piece, right? So let's, if we did that, if we made her really big, you would have a hard time making her body seamless because we're not gonna have paper that large. So, but when you put the dress over, you realize her arm is separated. So her arm is just one piece that's probably gonna be less than 12 inches, right? Um, and she just has two separate legs, a separate arm, and her neck um, up here is separated instead of one big piece. So the way you would do that, same thing. You see that there's a green layer in the back. We're gonna ungroup the dress and you can see all the pieces. And you know, I love Kayla. Kayla has been, um, I mean, I come to her for all my designs and she knows specifically when I'm doing the dolls. And I think when other people come, the reason why you wanna do the dolls usually is that it's for a big party and you wanna make it big, it's a big photo prop, it's beautiful. Um, but I love that we're able, that she's doing all these layers because this makes it so easy to make it big and beautiful and seamless. Like this dress is in three pieces. So that just means each of these pieces could be up to 12 inches, right? And it would work. So 
you're gonna take this green and you're gonna line it well actually let's move her body out of the way okay so we're gonna put this over here and you're gonna line it up to where it works okay then you're gonna grab the two items and you're gonna slice now if you go and you're ready to slice and for instance you see how my mouse is creeping up I'm gonna actually grab the green up here so you see how that top right hand corner the, the rectangle is into the green hair so that means it's grabbing three items so my slice is no longer available slicing you can only do it with two items so you got to be you got to make sure that your mouse is only picking up two items like right now I'm only picking up her body and the green dress and now I can slice I can tell you in all the years that I've you know, been a cricket cricketer. Um, all my slicing issues have been user error. So just, you know, there might be something sitting underneath the body that you may not notice and you may be picking up more than two items. You always have to have two. You can't have one because obviously what would you slice it with? Um, and you can't have more than two. So two is the magic number for slicing. All right, so now we can move this out of the way and you can see her body. Now, I didn't line that up properly and you can tell because there's a little piece right here. Is it a big deal? No. So now we have this. So what you can do now is if this is too big, right? I mean, right now these dolls are really small, but if you want to... Um, make these pieces you know by themselves you need to bring in a square or any shape and we need to start slicing things one at a time one piece at a time to isolate it so for instance i'm going to remove the arm i'm going to grab these two and slice so now the arm is by itself so just imagine we went from something being her whole body being limited to 12, 12 by 12 inches, right? Because most of our cardstock is 12 by 12. Um, and now we've really isolated, since we're able to remove all these pieces, I mean, each of these pieces could be 12 inches, right? So now you went from making something, um, the whole doll fitting on like a 12 inch, 12 by 12 inch paper to a whole doll being seamless and beautiful at three feet tall, four feet tall. So it's pretty amazing i mean we've come such a long way all right this piece i could make this piece bigger and for instance now use this so when you're slicing the other important thing is you want to make sure whatever um item that you're isolating like in this case we're isolating this right leg that only the right leg is in this new piece and you don't want something like this right because then you're slicing the leg even and you're into this other piece so you got to make sure that the one item that you want to remove from the group is isolated within this new piece so here i can't see it over here i know it's good now i need to make sure that i only grab two items and i'm going to slice so now the leg is separated so the leg the arm and now I've got these pieces. So you're gonna continue doing that, okay? So let's go and look at all our options. So I love it so much because now you can do all the things that you wanna do. Now, let's look at her eyes. Obviously, you can go in and customize this. You can change the eyes to, you know, um, a green or brown and whatever so you can change all that the lips all of that stuff is customizable because it's an svg file the other cool thing is you now have a doll right let's say let's ungroup this um you can 
flatten it as well and make stickers. So I typically will, you know, do a paper project with these dolls. That's the first thing that comes to mind, all these dolls in the background, right? Um, but you can turn them into stickers. You can do um, anything with them. And the great thing is that they already come in all these packs. So like the dresses, right? There's a ton of dresses to choose from, uh, a ton of hair choices. You can move those over and create your doll and still, because it's an SVG file, you can customize the color of the outfit, the hair, the eyes, and then flatten it. So there's customization on so many levels, right? You can sw uh, swap them out, um, but then within each of the items, you can still customize further. So let's, let's just do one. So here we've got this cutie pie. Um, so within this one, you can, once you click on it, it's highlighted on the right hand side. And let me move myself a little bit smaller so you can see more of design space. Okay, so you can always tell which piece you're working on because it's highlighted over here. So I can go and select the eyes, for instance, and click on the color and I can change it to a blue. I can change her lips to something maybe a little bit more pink. Um, these are her shoes. I can change it to, um, maybe I can even do a print then cut one. So if I go and change it to print then cut, then I can click on this and filter it to a pattern so I can change my pattern into something cutesy like, I don't know these stars, <laughs> okay? So she's got stars on her shoes. Um, let's bring over a dress. And maybe we'll do this dress. Now, you see how the dress is behind? So all you need to do is you grab the dress, go to arrange and bring forward. Oops, bring to front. There we go. So now it's in the front. Okay. So I can change that dress to maybe black. Mm, then there's too much black. Um, let's just do, oh, I changed the background too. So this one needs to be black. Did it not work? What did I do? Okay, let's look at this dress. Oh, there we go. Okay. We don't need the green. Okay, so here's her dress. We've got to pick hair. So let me go over to the hair. And I love this. I love this sweater. <laughs> when I saw it, that was my favorite one. I love this little bun at the top. Okay. So we're gonna move it over. So I would suggest like while you're playing around with everything, I would bring it in and not resize yet. So right now, all our dolls are teeny tiny. Um, like this, this one right now is uh, four inches by a little bit under nine inches. I wouldn't resize just yet because that way all the pieces work with one another. Once I'm done making her, I would resize. Okay, so let's say we wanna make her hair just a little bit darker. I'm gonna grab this piece over here and click on the brown and I can go to advanced. If I know I like brown, but I want just a different shade, I can do this. Okay, all right. Let's say you love this one. You can grab this whole thing and let me move my face again and you can flatten and this can become a sticker, a print then cut and you, you know, we basically customized her to whatever we wanted. It's so cute, right? So look at all the outfits. So again, everything has that green layer. So when you're ready to go cut and let's just, I'm going to remove all, all of the other dolls. Okay. So that way we can see what it looks like when we go to cut this. I'm gonna move that, move all my green at this point. We don't need the excess forehead, right? <laughs> the excess body, we don't need that. I'm removing all that, I'm removing all the dresses. 
as if we're only working on these two dolls, okay? And the reason why I want to do that is when we go to make it, I want to just see all my layers. Do I need to get rid of anything? Here's our print thin cut. She's going to be so stinking cute. Here are the eyes. This is the black. So the black, um, we need this for her hair. Otherwise, if we didn't have the hair part of it, um, the brown would just it would just go straight through onto her skin and you won't you won't have that the nice black outline so you want to have that in there same thing with the dress um and that's actually going to help with the seams because if you have seams up here in the ears or for some you know you'll see all of that would be covered you could even i would probably slice right there because her neck is going to be there and you won't even notice it. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Here is her outfit, her hair. I mean, and, you know, you can make this all much more efficient, right? Let's see if we can get this in here really tight. There. Something like that. Here is... I didn't finish removing everything else from here. But you could really get her in there. That's going to overlap, but you get what I mean. Okay, here is the green eyes. Okay, so we got rid of all the layers that we needed to. I hope that was helpful, and I cannot wait to see what you guys make. But this is such a game changer. Um, you can really customize and personalize as much as you want. And you saw all those different options. So I'm super excited about it. Let us know if you have any questions. All right, see you guys later.